I understand that you wanted to discuss the uh, monies that we're going to give to one of the two people on the electric company side. And Mr. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> and we're so to find out where we're going to get that money from. So do you have an idea? Actually, it was full council that wanted to have the discussion, not myself. Well, I thought in our last meeting that it was the discussed and it was going to be taken from the general fund. Yeah, I'm just clarifying that it was full council. It wasn't my decision to bring it up here. I apologize. Have we received any communications from Free One? None. Uh, we thought we would hear from them before the end of last week. Uh, I, I'm not aware of any communication written or, or a phone call. Um, I did want to say real quick, too, because I know this conversation could be timely. There's one pool issue before seven o'clock, if you could just take note. I just want to make sure we get it before we leave um, for the council meeting. But we've had no communication. No. Did you call them since you, they didn't call you? Were you able to call them and see if they were thinking of calling you? So I haven't reached back out. Um, I felt like the conversation at the last um, council meeting was uh, somewhat pointed. Um, and then there were questions about who was appropriate in reaching out to them. Um, so I didn't take it upon myself. Okay. Um, and I thought, well, committee or council could, could make that decision, essentially, um, on who they want to handle it. I can call them one. Wasn't there an email come through that said you had already contacted them? They haven't sent any more emails since they last talked to us. That's been a week and a half, two so that money would have to come from the general fund, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I, I, at the last meeting, uh, you know, just being honest, I used a reference to be not a good look to raise people's water and sewer bills. Um, maybe that was too on the nose uh, for some folks. I didn't mean it that way. Uh, but the, the, the boring auditor answer is, um, you can take it from any fund if there's just risk. Um, if it's outside the general fund. So the recommendation is the general fund. That'd be most appropriate. That's yeah. Gotcha. Should we do any appropriations in beforehand or wait until we yeah. hear back from them to see what the amount is? That's a council decision. Um, what it which depends on what you guys are comfortable with. Their, their final fee will be determined based off the electric rate of the day of termination when it essentially did not go into effect. Um, so I don't know what electric rates are in Ohio. I just pay my bill, um, pay the city's bills, um, but I don't know if they're up, down, sideways. Um, so they'll give us the total and the calculations. We don't get the privilege of the other way around. So how long do we have to give them to give us that information? That's a great question. It's never happened to the city, so that should we could ask, but it's should never we happened. Should get our so attorney involved in this? Sorry, that's a you guys question. I mean, I don't, well, mean, I I don't mean, mean to I don't mean to push it back in your court, but that's no, not that's, okay. that's not a my office question. That's okay. No, I mean if they're not answering you, perhaps right. they would, you know, see an attorney saying and perhaps and they would respond over me. Yeah, you guys could sick Bob on this. <laughs> I don't think well, I don't have any love for utility companies, so that's well, I'm, I'm sure not going to get in the way of that. I'm sure they won't just forget about us and just decide how oh, goodness they're ours to let us go. So, you wish? yes, Hi. but we don't want to. We don't want to be kept in a right. That's that's what I'm saying. I, I agree. Anything else? That was all on the agenda, I believe. <laughs> you mentioned something about oh, the pool. Yes. Oh. So, um, it, it, this conversation may require some crosstalk. I don't. I don't want to put anybody on the spot, but there's an issue at the pool. I assured Leslie I would bring it forward today. Uh, we haven't had a chance to really bring it before today um, with uh, the wages of 
head guards. So we kind of known about this problem. So it was brought to our attention from the head guards at the pool that they were told they could be hired in at $12 an hour verbally. Um, I don't know where that information came from. That didn't come from our office. Council passed no legislation. Um, it's really he said, she said. Um, but the issue is, is the council didn't pass $12 an hour. Council passed 11 an hour. So they've been paid at 11 just like the rest. And admittedly, they're kind of upset because they were promised 12. So I don't know them well, uh, but I know Leslie knows they're upset. I know they were upset before July 1st, before the transition. Um, but yeah, they were told they could be hired in at $12 an hour um, and, and they couldn't. Um, so I wanted to bring it to the finance committee if that was an issue you'd be willing to take up. Um, Logically, if their head life aren't, I would think that they would be due another dollar on the hour. I think, I think that's right. They they picked up a little bit of extra responsibility, so yes. I think it's it's fair, especially seeing as how they were told you know ahead of time that so much money. By who? Yeah. Who told them that? I'm not sure who told them that specifically. Do you, as auditor, know how much the cost difference would be for the? Term for the term of the pool being open, more or yeah. less. Well, I didn't do a calculation for the whole season, uh, but I can tell you they work about 32 to 35 hours a week. How many um, are there? There's two, but there's only one now, one dropped off. Uh, and Leslie, of course, is, I think, as everyone knows, uh, very motivated and very present at the pool. She doesn't think she needs to. So she thought she, you basically her suggestion was, you know, could council just keep one um, who's still present and then resolve the past, which has been the last month. Um, it's really a staffing ordinance issue. The staffing ordinance says that they could hire 20 lifeguards at 11 an hour. Somehow two head lifeguards were hired for 12 an hour verbally. Um, that, and, and I just can't pay as much as everyone might want that flexibility it's not legal for me to pay that just because that's their impression. So it's kind of been stuck in limbo. <laughs> but the, re the remaining lifeguard doesn't know who told, told them that it was $12 an hour. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to become a he said, she said. Uh, the previous manager and head lifeguards thought that the city manager indicated that to them. Um, I don't know. I wasn't in the hiring process for the pool. That's not really what we do. So I couldn't but, tell you. Does their paperwork when they sign on for work to show what their rate is? You know, that's a good question. Um, it should. Uh, I didn't go back and review that before today's meeting, um, but we should check that. I, I don't think I don't think that we can pay. Like you guys would still have to authorize a pay change, but it would be interesting to see what it said a month ago for sure. Mm -hmm. Right. See if they signed off on it for sure. Or what their expectation was, certainly. Right. The legislation came before the council at a regular meeting prior to the full opening, like two days later. I don't recall what it said, but it is in writing on that, stating exactly who, who was being paid as head lifeguard, meaning not the person with the position, <laughs> and who was just being paid as a guard. Athens pays $16 for their lifeguards. Logan pays that or above. These young people are in charge of people's lives. It seems pretty important that they be acknowledged for what they're doing. And Harry, I agree. Do you your fire fires that run into burning buildings make? Uh, well, the volunteers make $10 to run. They're in that part of time reserve. Well, I think that's an argument to raise the firefighter's position, not to lower the lifeguard's position, Dan. I agree. Well, you know, the they're not trying to lower anybody. Other. There's already an ordinance in place that if you want to. Thank you. So I will say I don't disagree with the sentiments. These folks do uh, do a great job, these young folks, especially. And they, head lifeguards in particular, have taken up extra duties that they never expected they were going to have to get into because of the season. I will say there was an ordinance passed that changed their pay to 11 an hour, but I can provide the copies. I mean, the clerk, the council can provide the copies. It says one pool manager, 20 regular lifeguards at 11 an hour, and that is it. Um, 
So it doesn't distinguish between head lifeguards and regular. And it, if, if we hired them for that, it should. Are you, do you have 20 lifeguards? I don't believe they have 20. I don't believe they have a full roster. So, you know, you can budget it for 20 lifeguards at X number of hours. So, you know, I don't think you're going to be out of the budget if you have council take a look at giving the, the guards that were talked about, you know, as being head lifeguards and taking on additional responsibility. I mean, it's like $60 a week. Yeah, I, I, and I'm not making that counter argument. Would that be an appropriation yeah. have, have you talked with the head lifeguard? Yeah, I talked with them. They related the same information to you that they understood. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Did you know there's a broken, like there's a broken um, <laughs> board, and that we have a board that's taped across with a caution tape to keep people. So we only have one board available. I yes, think. we're we're waiting on the paint for it. It what lost happened? all of its tread on it, so it's real slippery. Okay. And then there's been a couple of people sliding off okay. of it. I just went, when I was at the pool the other day, I wondered what had happened to it. And I'm just asking. I know how hard they are to get in the middle of the summer. We went through that before. The paint's supposed to be here by Thursday. So do you think we should wait until you find out about the individuals and what they signed as far as their salary? Or go ahead and produce something to present to council? The timing is your guys' call in the end. I personally think, um, well, if I'm being honest, I think those head lifeguards thought it would be fixed and handled by now. Um, Unfortunately, that hasn't been able to be the case. And if you're getting a paycheck, it's less than what you think. You might want it fixed. But this is the first time council's ever been notified of this issue. That's, uh, well, that's right. There hasn't been a ton of committees. And we've had two meetings in a row with empty legislation. So I think we need to bring out the obvious. It's been a difficult environment to work in. Um, but we're having a finance committee now, and I was hopeful. <clears throat> That the committee will take it up today. Yeah. Thank you. I don't. I don't know what direction to go with that. I mean, we would have to change the staffing ordinance, correct? Change staffing ordinance. We're looking at changing the fire department staffing ordinance as well, anyway. So just Part of the issue. Typically, we don't have a second meeting in July. Right. Not that we can't call a special one, and we do have a special one coming up next Monday. So it could possibly come before that. It's up to you guys if you want to. I can get a little Bob and have him get all the ordinance drafted up for the change to the firefighters and the lifeguards. If that's what you guys want to pursue. Uh, here's the next thing, though. Now your your wage scale is going to be changed. Uh, now your lifeguard is going to make more than your firefighters. <laughs> That's another sticky situation. Well, it sounds like a discussion for I believe that would be judicious. So let's hold that whatever full council. What do you think? Anything else, anyone? I don't think you should make these kids wait another no, two weeks. I don't either, this. but I'm not the full council. Yeah. And if there's two <coughs> head one. lifeguards, just one? Yes, one. There were two. Well, one, one resigned to go work somewhere I mean, else. what's the incentive to be a head lifeguard if you can't make a dollar an hour more than a regular lifeguard? Because I'm sure they have some type of more responsibility. I think what they're doing is comparing the volunteer part. And but I, don't I, think I have no idea what, you know, what their salary is for. So I apologize for that. No need to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's all okay. It's serious, right? Now you don't have to serious. <laughs> I know. <laughs>
So we have any you better just see that again. No, no. Can I uh, just to gauge your guys' understanding? That's what I'm understanding. Are you guys setting it back to when the, they started so they can be paid appropriately back to when they started? Absolutely. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. it's... as a member of the community, I think absolutely. Yeah. I don't think the kids should be punished. And maybe maybe it'd be helpful to clarify. I don't think anyone can hear. Has anyone here expressed any disagreement with the fact that it should be raised? I don't think so. I think we're all on the same page. Perhaps also we should go and Discuss the volunteer firefighters because I have no idea. Part time. We'll do that in full council. Um, that probably goes back to back to and and then back to finance. Comes right back around. We just re we just visited all, all that not uh, too long ago. So getting to your life. Shouldn't the life cards go to Park and Rec? If that's if that's the theory. For lifeguards, yes. Yeah. Would you guys would like to slow the process down? Well, we're kind of running out of time for that too. So we will go ahead with the lead cards and then bring it up in council about giving the volunteer firefighters fire, fire some additional dollars <coughs> or more. I don't know. That will have to go back to the police and fire committee. Okay, well, back to the police and fire committee. Anybody else? Six fifty eight. <laughs> we'll draw this meeting first place at six fifty eight. Thank you.